Słynne portugalskie podróże, o których mówił cały świat. Bartłomiej Diaz na południe Afryki, Vasco da Gama do Indii, Cristiano Ronaldo do Arabii Saudyjskiej. No i nie bez znaczenia w tym kontekście jest wyprawa pewnego portugalskiego dżentelmena do Korei Południowej. Spędził tam łącznie trzy sezony, co jest godne podkreślenia, bowiem wiemy, że zagraniczni siatkarze w Korei mierzą się ze szczególnymi oczekiwania. Na szczęście wraca do Plus Ligi, co prawda z przystankiem rocznym w Turcji i to on będzie szalał na skrzydle lub lub. Panie i panowie, poznajmy Aleksandrę Ferreira. Alexander, there are a lot of things that uh, I'm going to ask you because we don't know a lot of things about you. But one thing seems to be obvious. The thing is that you are going to share the room with Mateusz Malinowski or not? If he wants, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were roommates before in the past when we played together in other ones. So, so yeah, I still have... I keep in touch with him and I have good relationship with him, so, yeah, I guess, yes, if he accepts. <laughs> okay, I will try to push him to accept, of course. So, I suppose that you ask him about Luke Lublin or not? Yeah, yeah, of course, it's the guy I, I know better um, and, uh, and I trust him, so, yeah, I ask him a few questions. And uh, as I can assume, he recommended you to come here to us to Lublin, or not? He was pushing me. He was pushing me to go, of course. Uh, but because he he knows uh, he knows me as a person and as a player, and uh, so he was thinking that can be good for for me and for the team, and so so yeah. Okay. So uh, please tell me something about your previous seasons, because we know a lot about, about your performances here in Poland, but you played also in uh, Korea. We know that Korean league is uh, tough for foreign players, but uh, we don't know a lot about the level, about the scores that, uh, that came to our attention in, uh, about Korean players. How was your thing in Korea? Please tell us something about it. Uh, it was it was okay. It's very intense uh, league because we play many games in very short periods. So most of the times we have like two games per week uh, during six months more or less. So so it's very intense. Uh, other than that, it's being the only foreign on the team also it's, it gives you a lot of responsibility to for for you know to do the most important uh, moments of the team the everything goes on the foreign player so so it's one of the the good things that i guess it makes me growing and uh, as a player And uh, yeah, conditions are very good. It's uh, also a really nice place to live, the life, everything, really safe country. Uh, so it was it was a good experience. I, I was I was I was happy with my okay. performance. Uh, yeah. So when you decided to come back to Europe to Turkey. Uh, I guess more than two years in Korea, it's really rough. So <laughs> I I knew it was like my time for Korea was done. I was saying, no, it's it's already too much. And and also as a personal uh, goals that and things that I want to achieve. Of course, I always want to go back to Plus Liga. So this was always my my priority after Korea, so, yeah. Okay, 
uh, you said that you always wanted to come back to Plus Liga, and we all know that you had a chance to taste Italian league. So why Plus Liga? Uh, I guess because when I played there, I, I feel really, really welcome. And uh, I improve a lot as a player. And uh, I met my my girlfriend also. <laughs> uh, and no, I just like the league. I, I just like, I always was a big fan of uh, Plus League and uh, Polish uh, volleyball in general. I always follow the national team. And uh, the culture of the volleyball and it's, Everything it's it's totally different from from the rest of the world, in my opinion. And I see myself uh, play in this in this league. So, yeah, for me it's for me right now it's uh, top league in the world. Well, hard to say something different after three wins in a row by Zaksa in Champions League. Okay, yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> do you know how many Portugal? players uh, has uh, competed in Plus Liga ever? Maybe two? Three. Three of them. Three. Thiago Peloso, you and uh, of course uh, Tavares. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I think that you you three are some kind like uh, Vasco da Gama who discovers uh, Polish Liga for, uh, for Portuguese <laughs> athletes. Is it something like that? Uh, like that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I agree or not, but uh, I, yeah, actually, I already played in Italy before. I had the opportunity to go back, but uh, since I discovered Blues Liga, since I played there, I, I I say for my style and of volleyball, and also for my character and personality, I, I guess I fit on this on this Liga much better. So I was like, as you say, it's only three Portuguese players. Of course, we are not famous and popular on the volleyball world, uh, unfortunately. Uh, if it was football, I guess it will be a different story, but it's not, it's volleyball. So I'm really happy to be part of this three. Oh, I see. Uh, you know, I have uh, recently read an interview of you I suppose that it was in uh, 2021. I read there some kind of sad words that Portuguese volleyball players are not very popular in Portugal. Something has changed since that time? No. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's not only volleyball, I guess. Uh, we suffer this in many sports, but especially in volleyball, yeah. it's huge difference compared with, with football, for example. So perhaps uh, you are like the artists who are not commonly understood. Yeah, we, we and it's constantly a big, big fight uh, together with the Federation against the government and, and, and other other institutions to, to try to, to see if we can uh, uh, grow and, and something else, but not easy. Okay, um, uh, I tried to touch the um, issue of artism because I have also read that you play saxophone. Is it true? No, I, I mean I I was trying to learn when I was I was kid, but 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 after I, I just I give up. I, I was, I, I just give up. It was a sh short period. I was just like in the theoric part, and but uh, I stopped. But I, I, because I really like music, I'm a big fan of music. So. Okay. So, what kind of music, uh, music are you going to offer your colleagues uh, uh, during the outside matches? Are you going uh, to be people in the club? No, no, I'm I'm more reservation, the reservation person. But uh, I I I like all kind of musics, but I'm more like electronic and rap music. 
so and rock and roll of course okay uh, after your staying previous staying in Poland perhaps you found any kind of music any type of music any artist from Poland that you like till now uh Maybe, but right now I don't remember any name in specific. But uh, but I hear some some Polish song. I hear, yeah. For example, but more, but more because of my girlfriend, not because of uh, I, I. I really like don't follow. I don't understand. So you know, it's it's difficult. Okay, but. Uh, after your time in uh, Plus Liga, previous time in Plus Liga, I'm sure that you learned some Polish words and expressions, or not? Yeah, <laughs> okay. the basic, the basic stuff, the basic stuff. Like, for example? Oh, just, uh, you know, chest, uh, I don't know, how are you, stuff like this. Uh, not good words, not good, most of them it's not good words, I prefer not to say. Ah, oh, okay, so if I want to be rude, so I would ask uh, how you speak with your girlfriend, if you know that basic words and uh, that rude words, or I would assume that it's your personal charm, that it's enough with not speaking. No, we speak in English and she speaks Portuguese also, so it's... Oh, uh, great. She, she learned it faster than me. Now it's my time to learn Polish. But I'm going slowly. <laughs> it's not it's not easy, but I'm I keep trying. I keep trying. Okay, so perhaps it uh, has any meaning to you that you are going to uh, share the team with a Brazilian player, or uh, it's not true that uh, Portuguese and Brazilian are similar languages. Yeah, it's 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 basically the same. The accents change a bit. Of course, some words will change, but we can understand each other very easily. Okay, so how would you tell Thales Hoss, because we all know that we are going to join the team, how would you say to him in Portuguese, move a bit, I want to pass the ball? Move a bit. Ah, de deixa, deixa este lugar ou este, este, este espaço para mim. Algo assim do jeito. Something like that. Ok, you know, I always thought, but I don't understand, of course, your language, that it sounds like pure music. Amazing. Thank you for that. <laughs> I am happy that you like it. <laughs> ok, um, please tell me about your expectation. Um, uh, about the club, about the score that you're going to achieve. Uh, what's your goal? What's your target? I mean, about the club, I cannot say much because I, I didn't have opportunity to 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 meet or play with the, against the, against the team. But uh, of course, we have the first goal, and I guess it's for everybody the the playoffs. And uh, I guess this is uh, the main uh, the main goal for everybody and for the club, and uh, that's why I I, I want to go. That's why I decide to go uh, to achieve this uh, this goal. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So, please tell me at the end of our interview, um, how would you say in Polish? I'm sure that you know appropriate words. To your colleagues before the game start to give them best. <laughs> In Polish. In Polish, of course. I don't know. I just can say uh, Panovia uh, I don't know something like this. Okay, and this I suppose that it's just enough. Thank you for your time. We are all looking forward to see you in Lublin. Hope that you uh, come to us as soon as possible. Thank you once again. Yeah, you're welcome. It was a great pleasure. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.